about to conquer one of my fears, which is talking to native speakers in Spanish. I've done it once before when I was in Peru, um, in Panama, a little bit. I looked up Mexican restaurants in Columbus, Ohio. So let's get out here and let's go practice our Spanish, okay? I just pulled up and I am so embarrassed. Like, this is about to make me cringe so bad. Before I headed out, it was time for one more study session before I committed to today's quest. I'm about to throw up. I am so embarrassed right now. At this point, I'm sweating, my heart is beating, my head is getting dizzy. I'm just telling myself, you can't do this. This is too much. Turn the car back around and go home. Music is loud as fuck. I don't even know if you'll be able to like hear me. Oh, this is this is kind of ruining it. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted. All right. Okay, we did it. We got to the very first phase of ordering food in Spanish, requesting a table for one. All right, so as I'm fucking up these chips, I'm secretly dreading the waitress coming over and asking me to order my food. I'm secretly just trying to tell myself, should I speak in English and just not be awkward or should I try? I'm still doubting myself at this point. We've already gone through the first hurdle and I'm already trying to revert back. All right, she's coming, so here we go. All right, I did it again. I asked for my meal and asked for a drink menu. We're getting there. All right, so my food was here, so I was like, fuck it. Let me just start naming things and objects on my table that I can in Spanish. Bitch, I didn't even get to ask her for la cuenta. She just brought it over here to me. That's fucked up. It was not as nerve-wracking and embarrassing as I created it in my head. Um, a lot of the times it got awkward because they were just responding to me in English most of the time. And sometimes when they did say it in Spanish, I didn't really understand, but I was like, I, I, I got it enough. And then they were just, sometimes they were just repeated in English. Um, Oftentimes when people are practicing their second language or whatever language and to a native speaker and then they, they don't respond to them in that language, they just respond to them in English, people can get offended because they think like, oh, my accent sucks or this is an American, let me not respond to them. Sometimes they just don't know what to say. Like they, it's kind of like a shock. And two, keep in mind that these people do not have time to be your teacher. I am positive that often Spanish speakers who work in the service industry Appro get approached by people who want to practice Spanish with them. Like they're speaking Spanish, they'll be like, me gustaría tacos, por favor. And then they respond to them in Spanish and then that person doesn't understand what they're saying because they only practice how to ask the question. They didn't practice the responses. So then they repeat to you in Spanish and then you're just sitting there looking crazy. And it's like, I don't got time for this. I'm just gonna speak English to you. So if you fall into somebody who is not speaking Spanish to you when you're trying to practice, keep speaking Spanish, keep speaking Spanish. As long as they're responding, they understand what you're talking about. Like, it does not matter. Like, who gives a fuck? My, clearly my vocabulary is pretty limited, but I did that. And now I think I can keep doing it. Um, I'm gonna keep messing up. I'm gonna keep making mistakes and oh well. So I thought this was it. I was about to go home and relax. But then on TikTok, I found this hidden gem on the west side of Columbus, Ohio. And I was like, hell yes, I have one more opportunity to practice my Spanish. Let's get into it. Um, I'm here and I'm at like a Bob Evans or something. I don't know if you guys can see it. And then there's like this abandoned mall. What is happening? No, I'm on a roll now. Like. My embarrassment has went down. It's not gone, but it's went down. So I need to find this place. So I'm driving around, I'm annoyed. Like, please, it's hot outside. I just want this one last opportunity to speak Spanish for today. Please, please, please. I think I made a turn too early. This is one of those situations where because shopping centers and shit are all connected, it'll bring you like next to it or some shit. So I think it's further down to the right. I hit the corner and there it was. 
Let's get into it one more time. I want, I really don't want to have a taste for a lot, but I'm trying to say enough that I'm practicing. Ponyo pecoras. Okay. Me gustaría a sandwich. Can you say Banana, si. Oreo. Oreo. Oh, si. Oreo. Si. Gracias. <laughs> 